Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, King Jesus, always wonderful. He is the King of kings. He's the King of all. He's the King that loves us and cares for us. There's hundreds of names that have been given to Him. He's the God of love, God of peace, God of this, God of that. Because He is the King of kings. For He cares for us. That's why they call Him wonderful. King Jesus is wonderful. Today, I want to encourage every one of us. While we have time together, let's devote this time to get into the presence of the Lord and allow the ministering of the Word, of the Spirit of the living God to touch you and bring you to the next level. I believe that. I believe that today is a wonderful day. I'm going to read a scripture to us. While Jesus was alive on the earth, I'm going to bring from the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 35 to 36. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming while he was on earth. He going around towns, city, village, village. Proclaiming the good news, good news, the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowd, you know, people wherever, wherever Jesus go, a lot of people following Jesus because there is the wonderful God walking in the middle of them, in the midst of them. And they receive healing, they receive all the miracles. And everyone wanting to follow Jesus Christ. Because it benefits them. When he saw the crowd, he had compassion on them. Jesus said, because they were harassed and helpless. Like a sheep without a shepherd. Harassed. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is the wonderful God. Jesus is God has been given to the world to save this world. Today, we have a wonderful story. We have a, our guest, Brother Watana. He is going to be here with us. He's going to share his story. How the Lord God had touched his heart. How the Lord God blessed him. You see, many, 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 many people all over the world, all over the world, when they heard the name of Jesus, they kind of say, ah, yeah, it's just another religion. Ah, yeah, it's just another God. Ah, yeah, it's just another, another wise man. Oh, just, maybe he's just a prophet. Or this or that. But as they get a touch by God, as they get to know God more, they benefit, benefit a lot, benefit a lot from Him. You know, a lot of people all over the world, when they benefit themselves, they don't just keep it to themselves. They start to spread this word. 
they bring this word to their home. They bring the if, if they are uh, children, they bring this word to their parents. If they are spouses, husband and wife, they bring the, this word to their spouses because something has transformed them in the inside. And they don't want to keep it just for themselves. Therefore, they want to spread this word. Brother, why don't you come here? Let's welcome Brother Watana. Have you sit over there? You sit over there, I sit over here, you know, social distancing. So, thank you so much, worship team. So, you may take a rest. We're going we're gonna to have a, a talk a little bit with Brother Watana because he has a story to tell you. So, how are you doing, Brother Watana? You're doing good? Okay. Yes. Today is a wonderful day. I wish we get, you know, could be closer. But, you know, the COVID time, we can't be that close. So tell us, how the Word of God changed your life as a personal level? You know, change as a, per, you know, a family level and, and, and all that. So could you tell us? Sure, I, I can do that. Um, so first of all, uh, my name is Vatina, and uh, I'm uh, a project director overseeing a, a farming project uh, at Living Water Farm, is what we call it, and it's 45 miles uh, northeast of uh, the capital city. And it's a, it's a great ministry uh, uh, doing the work for the kingdom in the village. And uh, so yeah, it's great to be here. Uh, so yeah, uh, back to uh, pastor's questions, how the words of God change. Me personally and, and my family, um, it's, uh, I, I like the word uh, HT, uh, heart transformation and head transformation. And I'm going to speak about these two things that uh, helped me to come and know Jesus back in 2005. That's when I gave my life to the Lord. Um, 2005. 2005, now like been... I, I, I believe yeah, 15 years, right? 15 years already. But yeah, I came, I came to uh, I came to to to, uh, to study English as, as an, an English student, and and that's where I was exposed. At, at New Life Fellowship. Yes. Yes. So we teach English, computer, and all that at New Life Fellowship. If we are the, you know, I mean, don't have COVID time, we would have, you know, opened up the office to welcome everyone to study. Okay, go on. Um, so the. Uh, the, the, the first HT is a uh, heart transformation is I first see it myself that uh, that that my heart really really changed I can see my characters also change I used to be uh, an angry person I used to I used to hate things around me I have something that I'd like to show you this I got this scar. I'm not sure whether the camera can zoom in to see this scar. And uh, when I was uh, a teenager, if uh, without this scar, I could have, I could not have been here right now. And that's why I defended myself when I was in a gang life. And somebody was using like a sharp glasses, trying to kill me. And I was in a fight. And without using my arm to defend myself, I could have been dead. Mm. Because it was a shop. And they, they, he, sorry, he was aiming my heart to poke me. And so um, I used to be like part of a gang. And uh, it, it's when I, when I saw my life change, the attitudes and the character, I started to see like, wow, learning about God is not, it's not just religion. Mm. It, it's about it's about heart transformation, mm. life transformation. Words hard to describe mm. how things really change internally. Mm. But it, it's, it's, I, I, I want to say it's myself that I really see the, my whole life. And people know me that uh, after I expose myself to the words of God, I'm like a new person. They mm. call me like a new person. Mm. So, so yeah, I, I see myself born that heart transformation is the first HT that I'd like to, to say is about this book. So because of heart transformation. Yes. yes. So it's a life transformation. Yeah. So the life transformation. 
Let us make you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Before you was not a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But after the Lord Jesus Christ has transformed your life and your decision and everything like that have transformed as well. And so it made you to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. So how long will you plan to follow the Lord Jesus Christ? I, I believe it's been 15 years, uh, Pastor. It's been 15 years. So how long will you plan? I mean, maybe the next 10 years, 15 years, you will stop or? Uh, let me think about this. <laughs> you... I think it's probably the rest of my life. It's, it's a journey. And since I started, it's, uh, I know it's a journey. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a joy to be, uh, you know, walk every day with the Lord. And, and yeah, I'm excited to, to be on this journey to the rest of my life, you know, to, till I depart. So because of your decision to follow the Lord, yeah. and you see a life transformation, yeah. and you are yourself experience it first. Yeah. And so did you get to share this a uh, wonderful experience with the Lord Jesus Christ with uh, any of your family members? Yes, yes, of course I do. Uh, actually, it wasn't easy at first uh, within my family when I am one of the older brothers and I'm, I am expected to uphold my family values, my cultural values, and yeah, religious values as well because my father is a very strong, you know, in religion, in, in religion and uh, and one thing uh, that they could not refuse was that uh, they see my life change. Like I said, they see my life change, and they see uh, how I how I treat others in love, and something that that it's hard for them to, to know what it is. Just just being who I am to them. And uh, the second HT that really uh, uh, you know that I want to talk about is uh, is a head transformation. Mm. The head transformation is how much I. Mm. How much I know about God, how much I know what's around me. Um, you know, I, I, had, I had heard a lot about rumors, about discrimination, about... I had heard about how bad Christians are, I had heard all about that, but the head transformation is when God changed how much I understand. Those things that I had heard was not true. Mm. So I, I started to change to form really how much I understand about the truth. So I believe the truth really set me free. I believe the head transformation, it, it's what, um, what changed, what helps me to, to prove to people. People know a lot in the head, but um, when, when the truth comes, it's not just about the knowledge to me, it's more like wisdom that we have. And then when we talk in wisdom, I, I believe that wisdom really overcome the knowledge that we have. Mm. So. Right. Right, so now how many people in your family following the Lord Jesus Christ like you do? Uh, I think about five people. Five uh, people? Yeah. 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 My, my sisters and then one uh, other sisters and then my mom came. Um, well, I, I, I can talk more about, about this, but uh, I don't want my local you know, listeners and people who watch about this, but uh, uh, t it's... It's just, it's, it, it's a, there's a story why my mom came to know the Lord. Mm. And I like to, to skip this part, but my mom came to know the Lord because, yeah, she, she just have no hope. Mm. And she saw me a son who, uh, even though uh, I refused to, to uphold the family value, religious value, cultural value, but there's a hope that all of those the family, culture, religion couldn't provide. So I, wow. I gave her the hope that uh, she came to not only see, but she came to experience. And nice, nice. I heard that your nieces also, right, get to know the Lord as well. So at first you and your siblings and your mom and your nieces as well. How many nieces that uh, get to know the Lord? I have uh, two nieces and one nephew. They came to know the Lord through a Christian school and her mom, their mom, uh, my older sister, She's very, very religious. Mm. Uh, once she saw the changes uh, in, their, in her children, she started, her heart becomes softened. Mm. She, she cannot refuse that. She cannot deny all the fact that life changed from mm. you know, uh, uh, what they believe. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So how are they now after they 
all accepted the, the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Are they happy? Are they uh, better and have well, better hope than before? I, well, I, I, would, I would say this, whether Christian or not Christian, life still gives us both, you know, good times and bad times. But as Christian, when we come into difficult situations and circumstances, we know who we should seek help from. So I'm not saying becoming a Christian, all problem, life problems are solved. Uh, but when we come into the problem or circumstances, we know who we can seek help from. And you get to see God help you and your family as well, right? I always, you know, well not always, but I know that even though he doesn't answer, there's a reason. But I'm praying in, in his will, I'm praying in my own what I want. But I always see when he answers, I always say that, I, I always see that he is there. He's always there for me. And nice. He knows the best. He knows nice. The best. So who introduced you to the Lord Jesus Christ then? I remember back then a few people um, kept inviting me to come to church, but I kept refusing because of the stigma about, you know, the... the so who introduced you to the Lord Jesus Christ? Yeah, I, I have a couple of people that I remember, you know, Pastor Johnny, Mr. Uh, Jesse, and some other. Um, I believe, well, you are also one of the people who also asked me to come to church uh, uh, at, at New Life back then, about 15 years ago. Mm. But I, I just kept refusing. I kept refusing until, um, you know, uh, my life was really hit, was really hit with life problem. And then I started to say, hey, why, why can't I just come to uh, the church service, one of the church services, and experience myself. And then uh, uh, join the Bible class. That yes. Day. So when I studied the Bible, when I started to, to question in, uh, uh, in, in, the, in one of the Bible class, that's when I, when I started to hear more about the truths of God, God, two types of God that I, I, I first learned is uh, God who made man and God who was made by man. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's helped me to uh, get to know more about Jesus. And the more I study the words, the more I starting to see step by step uh, that God gradually uh, changed my life. Nice. So that's really awesome. That the Lord Jesus Christ that loves you and have transformed your life and have transformed your family and your nieces and nephews as well. The same thing as me, you know. First I got saved. After me, my siblings, my parents, and my nephews and nieces, and my cousin starting to know the Lord God as well. This is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is a God that people did not see Jesus yet. But they see you. They see you. They see you. They see me. You know, that's a living life on this earth. And if you are to listen to the world around you, the world around you always spread bad news. If you are to look at the world, there are life, more life than death. Right? There are more life than death. Yeah. So there are more good news than the bad news. But sometimes the bad news spread faster than the good news. That's really sad. But when you look at this, Jesus went around from town to town, village to village, to synagogue, to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Because he wants people to hear good news. At least two or three people, right? Bring good news to you. And at first you kind of say, oh, maybe yes, maybe no. It's a foreign religions and stuff like that. But later on, you get to experience it yourself. Why don't I taste it? Why don't I try it? Try and taste it and see. So after you try and taste it, you see that God is really good. That God can transform life. You see, ladies and gentlemen, 
my brothers and sisters, this is the world that we live in. There are good news. The news from heaven. That, that's why Jesus go from place to place. When Jesus sees the people, he saw that the, these people, they are harassed. Harassed. They, these people treat them badly. People neglect them. People with broken hearted. People like human destruction, poor, poverty, widows and orphans and all that. Nobody helped them. Nobody helped them. They didn't get enough help. And then they see people with helpless. They don't get help that they needed. There's no, not enough people to help them. Not enough supplies. Not enough people with power to help. Therefore, Jesus said it's like sheep. Sheep without a shepherd. Can you imagine the sheep without a shepherd? Sheep without people that care for the sheep, take care for the sheep, look after the sheep. When he sees that, he was moved with compassion. With now, COVID-19 pandemic in this world, I think it's time for us to bring good news more than before, right? Yeah, bring good news to the world around us more than before. Bring the news of hope. Bring the news of restoration. Bring the news of wholeness to the world around us. Because this news is real. Because the scripture said, Jesus healed all the disease and sickness. He heals all of them. Now, it's time for us to bring this good news to the world around us, my brothers and sisters. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, and this gospel, and this gospel, and this good news of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world. This good news of the kingdom, this good news from heaven, this good news from God need to be preached. We need to bring this good news to the world, to the world around us, the whole world, as a testimony to all nations. We have testimonies because somebody have heard the good news and accept the good news and allow the good news to live in his heart. We can see a transformation in Brother Watanak's life. And he's not just a normal person. He got a fine after he, he received the good news. He acknowledged that he is important. He is wonderful, that made by God. And he got to follow the Lord and get to see a lot of wonderful things happen. Yeah, testimony to all nations. And then to the end to come. This is... This good news is wonderful, my brothers and sisters. After you hear the good news, then keep it secret in the inside. Bring the good news to the world around us. My brothers and sisters that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you and I have good news. You and I have good news. Therefore, bring this good news to the world. The world need a touch by the Lord. The world need to hear this good news. You and I that experience God have the good news. Bring this good news and use your voice to proclaim, to share with people around you. I believe that there will be miracles. The miracles of greatness of the Lord our God shall follow you. You are the letter of Christ. People can read from your life. People can read from your speech. People can read from your behavior. They can. They start to feel like, oh, that person brought up what the night before. 
He doesn't have this kind of life. He's a little bit like hopeless and, and stuff like that. And he, he, nobody helped him. But God, the Lord Jesus Christ, saved him on time. On time. Don't allow him to go to, you know, the, the bad thing further, right? Yeah. I was about to leave my family. I think that was a year before I decided to come to the Newton Church. I was, I was about to leave my family. I, I didn't like, you know, my family members. I, I was like hopeless. And I wanted just to be somewhere with other people. But finally, I, I believe God uh, really brought me to church. Meet the people who love and care, no matter who um, I am. But, but, uh, sorry, no matter what I did or where I'm from, uh, I met people who care and love because of who I am, who I was, uh, was created. So, yeah. Thank you so much, brother. We as the believers are the little Christ. Bring the Savior that we experience in our life to the world around us that need this Savior. He saves you. He saves me. He saves your family and your relatives. He saves my family and my relatives. My brothers and sisters, this is the right time that we get to live. Let not keep this good news in the inside. Living as a secret Christian but living as a Christian that bring miracles in front of you. Believe in miracles, that miracles will follow you. You could do it. Can I pray for you? Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you for allowing us to hear this good news. And this good news has transforms our life. It's not just transforms our life, transform our family lives. Our relatives, Lord God, because you care for us. You love us so much. Lord God, there are so many people around the world did not hear the gospel. Did not hear good news yet, Lord God. Now it's a time, Lord God. For them to hear the good news. Lord God, anoint your servants. Anoint your son and your daughters, Lord God, to carry this good news, Lord God, with passion and proclaim the good news wherever it goes, to, Lord God. These signs and wonders will follow them as they preach this good news. Lord God, and bless them and protect them from the evil one. Lord God, and lift these people into the mighty hand of the mighty God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.